we felt it would give us the best access to the strongest possible group of senior insurance decision makers. InsureTech Insights is a must-do conference, I think, for the, for the network that is built here. My experience with the show so far has been really wonderful. For us, it's been great to come out and see uh, existing clients as well as meet some new folks on the floor. It's also really fun to come hear the insurance space talk about what's going on for them, and I love hearing it in people's voice of you know what's on their mind. So sitting in the sessions, getting to reflect on how we're showing up as a vendor, and you know where we could be thinking differently about how the industry's thinking about their problems. So it's been uh, really insightful so far. Some days better than others. Um, I'd say I was reflecting my daughter will be three in the fall and, uh, and the company is five years old. So we've been on that journey of, of growing the company and raising a kid. Um, I don't think there's a perfect science to it. I said they're kind of like a blend of some days are better than others and just focus on putting one step in front of the other. This is the first time we founded a company and the first time we've had a kid. So every day is a learning opportunity. You know, I think it's an interesting question. I'd say, it's progressively getting better all the time. I, I was talking to someone yesterday, I think a, a thing that I appreciated early in my career was having women who were ahead of me in their career um, be really honest about the fact that it's still really challenging. And I'd say, uh, I sometimes imagine, and I think people imagine, you become a co-founder, you become a CTO, and all of those small slights and things just go away. And, and they don't, uh, they change. Um, the impact to you personally changes, but I'd say it's, uh, better today than it was five years ago. It's still a long way to go and I'm really excited about a future in which there's a lot more women involved, there's a lot more leaders who are able to talk about what it was like and, and people get to work with a more diverse set of leaders so they can participate in this experience a little more evenly. But uh, I mean it's always getting better. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's a utopia yet by any stretch uh, but you know today I was on a panel with two incredibly impressive women that were really fun to meet. And I like to see that and be reminded that you know, there's a lot of us here moving the ball forward. I feel very lucky that I learned pretty early on in my career that you're never gonna build the perfect thing. Um, so it's really about being comfortable in, uh, I guess in the more tech speak and refactoring, I think in you know, more process orientation of saying, hey, something that worked for six months ago is absolutely not the thing that goes forward. So it's. Uh, the way that I've tackled it is really being flexible in my mindset and thinking about where do I really have big concerns or bright lines? Like what are things that we absolutely should invest in today and be really uh, principled about? And what are things that are, okay, it's okay if it changes, right? You had an approach. Uh, our first product was targeted just to agencies and agencies under 300 agents. And today we serve agencies, MGAs, carriers. We serve carriers with tens of thousands of agents. And if we kind of, stuck to our guns on the first design, like it wouldn't work for the future. So I, as a CTO and also as a co-founder, I just think a lot and, and you know, my, my co-founder and I think about this a lot of what are we doing today that is going to be effective? What are we doing today that was just our best guess? And you know, someone comes along and they have a better idea, let's kind of lean into that and, and keep going, um, particularly around business processes and then some on the technical design. Right? You can't be changing that all the time, but you got to be flexible to, to keep scaling, keep moving forward. Well, uh, I'm actually really, really excited over the next 12 to 18. Uh, we've invested a lot in product and engineering and starting to bring some more really substantive features and some smaller products into the market. Um, I'm learning a lot about what that means. I think when you you know, start a company for the first time, your first product is fairly organic and there's a lot of uh, muscle and discipline to start bringing more products into market. So we're, uh, we're starting to kind of dark launch some alpha and beta products with some folks. And I think over the next 12 to 18 months as those kind of pick up steam and we get uh, them out to our larger customer base and then out into the, into the market, I'm really excited to see what that does um, for agency and also for the industry, there's a there's a big opportunity there from a, an improvement in the process that we focus on today, as well as just democratizing data around the agent experience. Uh, and I'm excited for our next steps there. Yeah.